Right. I'm working my tail off, and I like so the opportunity. If, if that's the case, <laughs> not to win a race like this would be a shocker. Don't I you would, think? I, I think I should be favored. I think I probably am. In fact, in the betting lines, I am. <laughs> but, but I'm not betting on my own race in but, that but way. But that poll suggests you're traveling significantly. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Republicans have a new playbook, a surefire cookie-cutter recipe to mimic that fat orange jackass they all want to emulate. The prototype of the moron, do-nothing lying, has-been celebrity-turned-dirty politician, da-da-da, Dr. Oz. And Dr. Oz went from selling scam products on TV to U.S. Senate candidacy with no capability, credentials, integrity, or honesty. The perfect Republican candidate, to be sure. And, of course, these fascists' favorite thing to lie about are election results and polling numbers. If you're a perpetual loser, don't worry about it. Just fabricate a hollow idiot lie because you can pass anything off on the voter base of mindless sheep. You essentially have an open field right now. I'm, John Fetterman's not campaigning. Uh, that, that must be a, an enormous advantage for you, at least in the early stage. It seems pretty obvious. Right? I'm working my tail off and I like so the opportunity. If, if that's the case, <laughs> not to win a race like this would be a shocker. Don't I you would, think? I, I think I should be favored. I think I probably am. In fact, in the betting lines, I am. <laughs> but, but I'm not betting on my own race in but, that but way. But that poll suggests you're traveling significantly. It, you know, if you look at that poll, it's fascinating. If Republicans, when they realize that we are a unified party, and that's what I spent this past week doing, traveling from Pittsburgh up to Erie, across to Lan you know, Lancaster, Harrisburg, up to you know, Wilkes-Barre. When you do the that, the in and all the Senate candidates that I was competing against have endorsed me, the party rapidly unifies. Yeah. Oz was called out for his blatant lies suggesting he's leading in the Senate race when in actuality he's significantly behind. And the shocking thing is it was a Fox News host that called him out. Even the corrupt and unstable have their limits on passing hollow lies on a pathological level. But as failed TV celebrities, morons like Trump and Dr. Oz built their careers on parading lies with enough smoke and mirrors to fool the uneducated. And remember, it was just a short time ago in the dead heat Republican primary that Trump advised Oz to simply declare himself the winner. That's the new Republican format, isn't it? If you declare yourself the winner, then it must be true. To hell with the empirical evidence. Be damned with objectivity. Just baselessly claim that you won and cry enough crocodile tears and the Proud Boys will stand back and stand by for you as helpless slaves to your will. The Republican Party is full of these useless hacks who lack a single quality of leadership, governance, or legislative competence. Because with their voters, it's the sham that they appreciate. They're swept off their feet by fifth grade reading level morons who spit out one-liner talking points. Their intellectual process reaches capacity at anything beyond two sentences. And so Dr. Oz is just the latest grifter trying to cash in on a sea of suckers who support the Republican Party. Trump sucked millions out of them with the big lie and then spent all the money on personal affairs. So Dr. Oz, Herschel Walker, and these other incompetent do-nothings want their own piece of the pie. They see politics as a field where they can conduct criminal cons and scams without the arm of the law reaching them. This is the can of worms that Trump has opened up within the party of pure avarice. Because if you think Dr. Oz is going to stop his lying when he sits in office and the public coffers are before him unchecked, then you're dumber than we thought. His career is lying. It's his only skill. It's the only thing he can bring to the table. That's why he wants in public office. He wants to sell you that magical skin lotion that cures all ailments and is only $99.95 not sold in stores. And if you're dumb enough, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to make government work for Dr. Oz at the expense of the citizens of our country. And that's why we've got to make sure those poll numbers that see him in the abyss come to fruition in November. Shady, corrupt, sleazebucket businessmen and con artists like Dr. Oz don't belong anywhere near public office. They don't deserve public trust in the slightest capacity. And we've got to win our majority so these traitors that want to falsely claim election victory are retired to grim, forgettable, sad history. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.